So this is Tanner's lake. Now there is lots of lakes, all right, but just focusing on what we fished on our silvers, okay? So you don't need to see me anymore. So this is peg one on Tanner's. Uh, Terry done well on uh, day three to win the lake. The wind was absolutely hacking into here and he's just caught short and he's caught skimmers. I'm not sure exactly what the depth will be there. So this is peg two. And then this is peg three. Now I drew this on day three of the festival. And it basically it's just like a gradual sort of slope. Now the reason why I haven't talked about the other two pegs in depth is because I haven't fished them, so I don't know. It's shallow against that island and it's quite a rocky bottom and it's like a gradual sort of slope. And I'd imagine, so many carp in this lake, I'd imagine it, it probably will flatten out about 14 metres, but it's been so windy, and this is the day we go home, and it's flat calm. Um, so you'll be careful, like, obviously trying to lay on, trying to get a presentation on the pole, you've got to be careful you don't end up catching rocks, which is what I actually did do. Um, so yeah, not the cleanest of bottoms. Um, with, well, with rock size, so it makes it a bit more sort of like difficult to, to, to present. So, definitely catching short and the feeder was, was a good method. Now, obviously, if it's calm like this, you'd be able to present it on the slope and obviously fish long. Um, definitely a lot of silvers, a few crassios, but this is where it definitely seems to get a little bit better. So I had this on the practice day, messed up really. Should have fished lighter. A lot of crassios against the island. You go in that. And again, coming into a bit more like the crassio sort of centre. And again, depth wise about here was about a good sort of like six foot. And then this is peg five. So quite a gap. Now the reason why um, there's such a big gap is there's that peg there is for the lodge, Hollywood Lodge. So this is a good peg. And opposite, they catch a lot of crassio here for whatever reason, middle of the lake. I'm not sure. And peg six. And peg seven. I've got some fish get up here to uh, spawn and stuff a bit. Peg eight. And then I was on here on the last day of our silver festival. I had a bit of a nightmare to be honest with carp. And started to catch a few skimmers late, couldn't catch crassios. 
So I did chuck it against the island, but tried a few different spots. I tried to here. Was it focus? No. And then here as well. That was my finger, not a sausage. And then that was the MPEG, so obviously there's 10 over there, which I'd imagine will be Carp City. So peg 11, which wasn't in. Peg 12, which again wasn't in. Peg 13. Peg 14. I think this was in. I think this is where Ryan was. So congratulations to Ryan to win the festival. Four section wins in a second. Fair play to him. Pack fifteen. Peg 16, now this has been a good peg this has been for uh, Carasios and skimmers to be fair. And 17. There's all the lodges, look. Loads of fish top in. Eighteen. A lot of small fish we caught here ashore through the week. 19. And then there's 20. This is a spussy lake. 